What's up guys? It's Jordan from Young and Driven Fitness. 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 Yeah. What I wanted to talk about right now is creatine monohydrate. Yeah. A lot of people have asked me about creatine. What kind of creatine should I take? How much of it should I take? I'm afraid to be bloated. In high school, I used to take creatine monohydrate in high school. I still take it, but that's when I started taking it about freshman year of high school. And guys will be like, I'm staying natural. I'm not taking no creatine monohydrate. And yeah, that's right. Back then in high school, people actually thought that creatine was like steroids. They thought that I was on steroids because I was taking creatine and protein shakes. So people thought my protein shakes and creatine were steroids, so they were going around with the steroids. Go drink your steroid shake with creatine and whey protein. Damn. If any of you guys that are in high school watching this, y'all probably understand exactly where I'm coming from. Most people probably are the same way to you. Creatine is actually found in foods like beef, chicken, and fish. So to all those dumbass people that are saying creatine is steroids, be like, yeah, you must be eating steroids in your chicken, beef, and fish, bitch. Creatine is produced naturally by the liver. It allows your muscles to contract by fueling them with ATP, adenosine, adenosine triphosphate, which is basically what your muscles use to contract. Liver is constantly fueling your biceps, adenosine triphosphate, which is basically like the water inside your muscles that's allowing you to contract them. It is the most researched supplement in history. There are no side effects discovered to this day, unless you do a loading phase. If you do a loading phase, which means you start out taking 10 to 15 grams a day to try to load it up and saturate your muscles quickly, you may experience farts, bloating, maybe some stomach cramps, Diarrhea, more farts, more bloating, and thrown up. But that's if you're loading. Don't do a loading phase. Ne there's never any purpose in doing a loading phase. That's just a gimmick by the supplement companies to get you to take more of it. Five grams a day is all you need, period. That's all you need. No, never any more than five grams a day. It has been shown scientifically, time after time, to improve lean body mass, strength, and performance in the bed. Just kidding, I just meant performance in general. There have been a lot of new creatines come out, like creatine ester or buffered creatine, which these creatines are just gimmicks to take all of your money. They say, oh, they're more soluble, they'll dissolve quicker, you can absorb them quicker. Absorption doesn't matter, and how fast it dissolves into your water doesn't matter. As long as your body's taking it in, you're good. Creatine monohydrate has shown to saturate your muscles 100%, so there's no reason to take buffered creatine or creatine ester because it absorbs quicker and it's more absorbent to water or whatever it absorbs into your drink quicker it's pretty and it's expensive and you get to say yeah I spent seventy dollars on some damn creatine yeah you're a cheap bastard like me you just need your creatine and you want to make those gains and you don't want to spend all your freaking money Get the creatine monohydrate. Don't get the other stuff unless it's on sale for cheaper. Stay young. Stay driven. I think that's it. If you want to learn about nutrition, fitness, 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 if you're new in bodybuilding, if you just want to get in shape, like, subscribe, post on your Facebook follow. <laughs>